Hi guys. Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be discussing 5 things that narcissists look for in supply. You ready? Great. 1. An easy catch. We're goal-orientated. We want what we want. So we'll do plenty to try and win you over. But if it's too much of a challenge, we'll simply move on. I mean, we do love a chase, sure. It's all part of the fun of it. But we've got to be proactive too. Time wasted, is time that could have been spent acquiring new supply. That's often why we talk to multiple people. Much like interviewing for staff, you gotta have options. 2. Submissiveness. You're probably thinking, hmm, that's a little obvious. But submissiveness comes in many distinct forms. You can use confidence, but have specific morals or characteristics that demonstrate a submissive nature. This could include how you interact with authority, how you value wealth, your family dynamics, and how you react under pressure. We're ultimately looking for an in. That's what allows us to begin gaining control. The more you comply, the more it feeds our ego. And as you all know, we do love a big ego. 3. A sucker for love. The romance, the thrill, the excitement. You dream about it. Hoping one day you'll find your happily ever after. How lovely. Hmm. And now, oh my. You see that handsome stranger on your screen? Yeah. Right there? That's me. I could be your perfect match. But truth is, I'm most definitely not. Firstly, I'm not even real. I'm a cartoon folks. Get with it. Shh. But secondly, us narcissists don't believe in fantasies. Unless of course, it's our own. We basically see you as an open journal. We read up on all your wants and desires, and once we learn about your ideal partner, we simply play the role. It's a very simple tactic. And it works every time. 4. Insecurities. Your insecurities are like gold dust to us. Hmm. Lovely. We use insecurities for two main things. To build you up and make you feel like we care, or to use it against you. When used against you, it's rarely in an aggressive way. Unless you're dealing with an incompetent and overt narcissist, who just doesn't know how to play the game. The way covert narcissists use your insecurities, is often subtly and psychologically. We'll slowly break you down and create a false narrative within your mind. Often to make you compliant. 5. Poor relations with family and friends. It's important to have a good support network around you. Especially when you're in a relationship with a narcissist. But the reality is, we just can't stand when your family or friends get involved in our relationship. We immediately become filled with rage. And if you listen to their opinions, over ours? Well, then you'll soon learn what we're capable of. Remember, we've got to be valued and respected above everyone else. And if you don't, we'll simply isolate you away from others. It's the only surefire way to keep our false image intact. If you like this video and want regular content, please like, comment, and subscribe. All three please. Go on. We'll give you a chance to do so now. Content is posted every week. And subscribers get exclusive access to the Narcissus Forum when they join the waiting list. Get clicking, and I'll see you next week.